Hi, Anna. Um, I have spoke on um, a few of the channels where people have popped on and wrote to you little notelets, but when I think about it, I was worried about speaking camera wise. I'm hoping I can send you this because I've when I've got a laptop, so I've got to find a way to attach this to, to the phone. It's a little learning thing for me. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, like, like others, it's, things has been going on a long time for us as a family. We've been aware for a long time. There's a lot going on. I've said, uh, I think last time I went into, we, uh, in Sheffield, we've got Medawalk into Debenhams and Boots, it just went over top, cosmetic wise, it become a cosmetic department, what were going on there, who took over us there, each shop you went into, that shop, you can have that dress down, trousers, you can get it from that shop, that shop, we were took over, we've been took over, we've, it's crept in and then it's just gone mad, I've I seen it with my own eyes, I'm also, um, Intuitive, I had a big dream, year 2000, and um, if you want me to tell you about that at some time, I will do. I had a, a huge dream, that kind of left me in a mess. I went somewhere in this dream, and, uh, and it's, that, it's, it was an awakening. Um, not an experience that would want to go there again, but uh, it, it woke me up, made me think, stood it what's going on. So I was quite poorly after that and I've had uh, degenerative spine disease, I've got asthma, raised blood pressure, raised cholesterol uh, and I'm 64. So my name is Carol and I'm 64. I have, my husband has multiple sclerosis. He was diagnosed in 2009. Multiple sclerosis. He's 66. So um, as you can imagine, um, I'd already started doing a little bit of, I knew something was going on. But it's all, it's all right, you, you knowing something's going on, but if you've got people around you that aren't, let's just say as weak as what you are, that's another difficult path. So um, our journey come beginning of year, when we went into lockdown, well, let's just say it was a very scary time for me, because I'm... I have issues and protecting my husband issues. We decided to, to lock down, totally lock down and go into shielding. But as you know, we were entitled to shielding due to my health and my husband's health. But not if you're not on their list. And we didn't get on their list, spoke to doctors or pretended he has no idea about the list. But it had to come from the GP to the NHS for the list. So we are aware. And not only that, another thing, we live on a major road, main road, in and out of Sheffield, North Sheffield. And under normal circumstances, it's busy. All day, every day, even most nights, we live on main road. And the amount of ambulances, fire engines, things that go up and down our road, Every hour is horrendous sometimes when it's been raining or it's hot. Lockdown. Nothing. Now you would expect if we're in a pandemic that ha this road here would all look quiet, but we did da, 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 every two minutes, won't you? Lockdown. Pandemic. It was the quietest time and we lived on a lovely leafy village that was quiet other than people moving around to have that little walk, what they're in tack to, taking a dog. Never seen so many dogs around here. Didn't know so many in our neighbourhood had dogs. Don't know what they were doing with dogs before. Um, the other thing is, pathway. We have a narrow pathway. I won't say it, we're even a metre. So when we go out on our little walks, we're not complained by the two metre distancing because if, if if I have to walk up with my husband if we go out because he has uh, his MS, he has um, an eye issue that makes 
things not stable. So when we go for a walk, he hooks up with me, so it just balances him. Now, anybody passing us on the same side of the road, we have to stand flat to edge so they can pass. So, and it's still not a meter's distancing. So where does that come in when you go for a walk? We forgot about all these things. People that, once, once they tell us something, our mind goes off thinking, well, is that to, to, they forget. I know we're like all trying to do as we're told, or we're all complying, we're all helping one another get through this, but we've all got questions, and you can see them in everybody's eyes. Why is she not wearing a mask? Do I need to wear a mask? You can see it, and I'll be honest, Anna, you can feel it now. There's something, it's something dark, but people are waking up. That's just all I wanted to say this morning. Um, if I think of anything else, um, doctors, wise, as you know, my husband hasn't seen his MS nurse. Now, one nurse at an outreach, that's social distancing. Why is she being removed? He's not been to his con consultant in hospital. No letters, but he's had no letters to say all will be resumed when it will be resumed. So I'm taking it as if we're in the Jasara, Nasara, Jasara, if this is true, it's something new's coming. Is that true? Do they are there aware of that? Is the treatments for these things? There's loads of questions, Anna, in there. If you do this, go down all these rabbit holes, it brings more questions. So, I don't want to say we'll see, I'd like to start a um, help you petition because I do not want another injection. I've woken up against that and that's my fear. So if if you can help us find a way to say no to injections, I'm on your list. Speak to you soon.